What is up guys, Coach Joe, and in this video we're gonna be talking about chest. Bum, 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 And how to get a bigger chest and make it look better as well. So let's go. What is going on my friends? Coach Show here at the Lion's Den located in Colmar, PA. And in this video, like I said in the intro, we're going to be talking about these things right here. The pecs, the chesticles. You're going to attract girls. You may attract some guys. I don't care. All that I care about is that your chest is looking fine. But let's rewind it back to my upbringing where I actually always struggled with getting a well-developed chest and a big chest. So I've spent a lot of time trying to increase the size and the shape and just the look to have a more aesthetic chest. So we're going to be talking specifically about hypertrophy in this video. And I've been doing a lot of hypertrophy training recently. So I'll make sure I link up some videos up here so you guys can see what I'm doing. But in this video, I want to include some exercises that I think were a game changer for me along that hypertrophy journey that you need to absolutely be doing in your training if you're looking to just get a nice, full, well-developed chest. Okay, so before we even get to the exercises, I wanna talk about reps and sets. Now, if you're looking for the minimal amount of work to maintain your chest muscle and size, we're looking somewhere around eight to 10 sets per week for chest training. Now, that is just to maintain what you have. Now, I don't wanna be in that range, I'd rather be in the growth range. So for that, it's gonna be probably somewhere between 10 and 20. I know that's kind of a big range and there are tons of different factors and, and variables to that, but I would think that you're gonna be on the higher end of that spectrum if you're trying to get a lot of growth in the chest. So I myself am in the 15 to 20 sets per week category when it comes to growing my chesticles. Frequency also has a big role to play in it. When I first started training my chest, I was only doing the typical bro split of one time per week. As I've become more advanced and I've learned a lot more, I like a higher frequency. So I'd like to hit my chest minimally twice per week if you're just doing one time per week, that is not gonna be enough to cut it and you should at least be doing chest twice per week for maximum gains. Now let's get right into the exercises that have made a huge difference in my training and why I like them. All right guys, exercise number one on my list has to be the incline bench press. I love doing the incline bench press, uh, a little bit more favorable than the typical bench press just because I feel like I get more chest activation from doing this variation. Uh, so if you guys are looking at your chest more and still trying to get some benching in, definitely throw in the incline barbell bench press. Another little tip that I've been playing with myself personally has been widening my grip just a little bit. And I feel like that also hits the pecs a little bit more. Now, number two on my list is gonna be flat dumbbell benching, okay? The difference between this and a typical barbell bench is that the dumbbells allow for a little bit more movement and greater range of motion. Now I keep preaching the same point over and over again. We want to get as much range of motion as possible, especially when we're doing hypertrophy training. So when I am using those dumbbells, I can get a deeper stretch uh, with my chest and therefore more growth can occur. So if you guys are looking to try it and change it up a little bit, get more range of motion, definitely hit up the dumbbell bench press and get as deep as possible as your shoulders will allow. Number three on my list, and this has been a staple in my training ever since I started training at the age of 12 or 13 years old, is cable flies. I absolutely love cable flies uh, just because of how much tension I can get in my chest. I love the, the big range of motion you can get. And I also love how you can adjust uh, the angles of doing the chest flies. You can start up high, you can go down low, you can go right at chest level. You can hit every aspect of the chest by doing these cable flies and it allows such a great range of motion. Uh, so whenever I've done these, I've always have a great mind muscle connection with them and it just seems like they've always helped grow my chest. So I'll be doing some sort of fly. If you can't do cable fly, dumbbell is just fine, uh, but I really do love the cables just because you can adjust the angles and kind of hit the perfect sweet spot for you because we're all a little bit different. Number four on my list, I've been doing this for a very, very, very long time, has been dips and all sorts of dip variations. But I've been really loving doing weighted dips with full range of motion lately and just feeling that a ton in my chest and even my lower pec. Something that I really struggled with was developing that under pec or that like, you know, cup to your pec. And doing dips seems like it's been something that has helped develop that uh, and just a staple to throw into your training. 
So the last one on my list is going to be deficit push-ups. Now, if you are kind of new and getting into push-ups, regular push-ups are fine, but I feel like if you are more advanced, you're going to need to somehow overload this movement to get more tension uh, to cause a strength adaptation or a size adaptation. So for me, the deficits are totally uh, the way to go. They're brutal. They're gonna give me tons of blood to the chesticles, which is gonna make these suckers thick and juicy. So if you're good at push-ups, Put your hands on something to give you that deficit. Make sure that your chest touches the ground every single time. Go as deep as you can handle and press all the way up, and that is gonna help trigger some massive growth. So there you guys have it. Those are my five awesome exercises for chest hypertrophy and chest growth that have really helped me along my journey. Uh, if you guys have any extras, make sure that you drop them down below in the comment section. It's always interested to put more movements into my training library, and uh, hopefully this helped you guys. If you aren't already, make sure you subscribe and also join the Iron Lines Facebook group, which is a free group and community that you can just communicate with people. We put up articles, videos, form checks, et cetera, all 100% free because we love and care about you guys. I want you to be savages when you walk into the gym. The last thing I'll say, shameless plug, we do have our top selling hypertrophy program that is on the website. It will only be there for a little bit longer and then I'm taking it down and I'm gonna come out with a new one. So grab hypertrophy uh, 101 to start and then when the new one comes out, you'll be ready to purchase that one, which is gonna be a little bit more advanced uh, and just have a lot more knowledge and information than the first one. But limited time before it comes down, get that program. But until then guys, stay lean, mean, track machine. I'll catch up with you next time. Peace.